Hello, this is Adrian from Freelix Copiers. This video is how to install the correct driver for Windows Vista and Windows 7. You will need to know your IP address for the copier MFP. And the videos in this series install the driver on XP, install the driver on Vista and 7, install the driver on 8 and 9 when 9 comes out. A tips and tricks video that gives you a full run, uh, run through of the drivers, what they're capable of doing, um, private prints and the likes, and it's a good video that one, it's worth seeing. And obviously how to install drivers on Macs, and if you're not, this video is specifically for speed, as quick as we can get it on. So it's for office managers and network techs. If you're a bit unsure of what you're doing, have a look at the step through videos, and the step through videos will actually repeat everything twice. I'll repeat everything twice, giving you a full opportunity of doing it on the second time I repeat it, so you'll be able to keep up with me in the video and not have to uh, pause it all the time. For the uh, ones that are unsure, look at the step through videos. Right. We're going to load the driver now. We need to find out whether it's a 32 or 64 bit operating system for the computer we're sat at. So go to start, right click, that's a right click on computer, and go to properties at the bottom there. Right in the middle, system, system type, 32 bit operating system. Now we know what, well, mine's a 32 bit. If yours says 64 bit, and you'll have to download a 64-bit driver. So we can close that down now. I use Internet Explorer to download drivers, being as they're a safe site. And what we want to do, we want to type in eid.toshiba.com.au. If you're in Australia, use the AU site. If you're in America, use the com site because it all depends where you are to what size papers you get and we want the A4 papers in Australia so eid.toshiba.com.au I have got an option for drivers a link so I could go straight to the drivers if I needed or wanted to but you might not have the link so I'll show you the other way around instead so we just go to the website eid.toshiba.com.au Right in the middle, support and downloads. We want the drivers. Read the disclaimer and continue. In our case, or in my case, I'm going to download a color MFD. So I go for the middle list there. And I'm going to download one for 4520. If you are a free lease customer, you'll either have the 20 series, which is a uh, 2820, 3520, or 4520, or a 3540, which is a 40 series and a 4540. So download the correct driver for the machine you have, and the machine type is written on the door of the copier. So I'm going to download the 4520. We always want to download the PS3. It's the quickest and most current driver, and in my case, it's a 32-bit. The other videos will show you the difference between the drivers and the PCL6, by the way, don't use it. It will slow your network down to a crawl. So click on PS3 32-bit. I like to open it so it unzips on the way down. Wait for it to come down, which it will in a few seconds. It's only a small file. Reduce the browser drag and drop the driver to the desktop so we can find it in a minute and yes please now you can close everything down to actually load the driver go to start Div left click on devices and printers I've already got a print driver on there but I will delete it if you do need to delete a print driver double click on it first and make sure there's there's no prints in the print queue, otherwise you won't be able to delete it. So I'll go back to it and delete it. And start from fresh. And now we want to add a printer. Add a local printer. Yes, I know it is a network. You are loading yours on a network very lightly, but a local network printer is what you want. You want to create a new port. 
and select from the drop down of the create new port field the standard TCP IP port and next this is where you put your IP address in and before you put your IP address in and before I do make sure the query the printer and automatically select the drivers to use is unchecked if you check that it'll load the Windows driver and it'll be a waste of time as downloading the right driver from eid.shiba.com.au so put your IP address in there in my case it's 192.168.1.250 put yours in and click next we have disk and we're going to browse we go to desktop and on my desktop there's the driver 4520C which is a PS3 double click on that double click on the only option that you get and OK next replace the current driver and next this is the print driver's name if you've got more than one machine rename it main or so you know where the, the machine is so you can narrow the driver down to which machine you're talking about so in my case I'll type main and I like to put the IP address in there so I can have a quick reference to it after after it's loaded and next you don't want to share the driver that's another story have a look in, in the overview video to find out why you'd share it and then go next and finish don't print a test page yet the reason I put the IP address down there is if I want a quick reference to what that machine's IP address is in case I want to get on top access or anything I just dump the IP address into the Internet Explorer and it'll open top access top, top access is the web browser in this case we want to change a couple of defaults so right click on the driver that's a right click and go to printer properties right in the middle there in the printer properties the first thing we want to do is configuration if it doesn't configure it's because SNMP isn't enabled simple network management protocol that is two-way communication from a computer system to the photocopier or MFP now as has configured go to general preferences there's a couple of adjustments we need to make in here first one is black and white as a default you can have any default that you want that's there I would suggest going for colour or black and white forget the auto I don't like auto and it making its own mind up so I'm going to go for black and white to save me colour toner and up the top in the tab at the top there image quality click on that and under the general it's lit up blue go to settings use black for all text and distinguish thin lines OK apply and OK now you can print a test page you will see the green light flashing on the front of the machine right by the uh, on the front of the control panel and if it's flashing it's printing your test page for you and that is how to load a driver on Windows Vista and Windows 7 thanks for watching see you next time bye